careful down near the mines. Take your time, and ask me if you need anything. I'm here to help. Hey, you looking for anything in particular? Come back anytime. I hope no one tears down the little green guy posters I've Invoices can be collected from the... Oh. Not here for a delivery, are you? Do you now? Well... I do wish I could help you, Captain, but Dr. Walker has been missing for some time. A shame, too. We had such high hopes for Percival. I brought him on myself to do medical and biological consulting around the city. Not the sort of work the Trade Authority traditionally does. But we thought it had the potential to become a whole new type of revenue stream for our branch. I invested no small amount of personal capital into the endeavor. But then he decided to run off after a discipline issue. I presume the miners have him hidden somewhere. <laughs> Plenty of cracks on this old rock. But at this point, it's probably for the best. That won't be necessary. The Trade Authority isn't interested in employing someone so unreliable but we would like the money he owes us if you can convince him to pay his debts we'd be most grateful wonderful I suggest paying a visit to the Six circle what I suppose is technically a bar on the lowest level of the city if anyone knows where Percival is, the miscreants there would. But I would urge caution. They're not a group known for their hospitality. Broken spears upstairs. Go drown yourself there. This bar is for devil's vets and their kin. Doc Walker? Well, you're barking up the wrong... Andy. You. Why don't you come here and tell me what some vanguard captain wants with Walker? Stray topsider wanders into my bar asking after a man like Percival Walker. Raises questions. What do you want with him? Hadrian? A woman named Hadrian sent you, a member of the Vanguard, to find Percival. Hmm. Now if that tag's a forgery, it's a damn good one. All right, Captain. If you are who you say, Supra et Ultra. Vanguard motto. What's it mean? Should have gotten that during your oath. Hmm, I see. And tell me, what grade was it you got on your entrance exam? A? C? D plus? That... is right. All right, Captain. Maybe you are who you say you are. But look. Even if I decided I was going to help you get in contact with Dr. Walker, Percival made himself scarce for a reason. His debt to the Trade Authority. But if someone resolved that debt, well, Percival wouldn't have to hide anymore. Can bet that person would make a friend out of Percival, and the rest of us devils. And I'm always inclined to help a friend. That's good to hear. Now, you want my opinion. The most straightforward way to take care of this debt would be to just saunter up to the authority and pay him direct, if you've got credits to throw away. Of course, rumor is the Trade Authority keeps all their records and collections files on a central server inside their storeroom. 
If someone was to break in there and adjust Percival's debt to something a little more reasonable, say, a few hundred credits, I'd be happy to cover the costs. But, uh, one friend of Hadrian's to another, Sidonia's full of old utility spaces. Wouldn't be surprised if there was one that let out right into the Authority storeroom. Say, with an entrance behind the bar at the Broken Spear? Ooh, and you might need these. Now, what say you get out there and help Dr. Walker? Hey, you! Maybe Hadrian's friend. Come here. Heard you talking with Lou, so you're going to help Dr. Walker? Oh, good, good. Oh, Percival's a good guy. Listen, I know how you can do it without having to resort to any... B and E. Aqueous hematite. Mars is full of it. People think it's just garbage, but Percival and I, we've been working on some projects in the deep mines. At least when he wasn't slaving away at his trade authority contract. But we stumbled on a way to make it useful and profitable. You give our research over to Octai at the trade authority, it should more than cover Percival's debt. That guy's always looking for an angle. Well, yeah. We were never able to finish the research. Spacers moved in and ran us out, started setting up shop. But if you can clear them out, I can walk you through how to finish the research. Then you can give it over to the trade authority. They'll get folks working in the deep mines again. Jobs come back, I become a modern day folk hero. <laughs> then I don't have to sleep on an inflated spacesuit anymore. Great, great. So access to the deep mines can be found outside the city. It's not far, shouldn't even need to hop back in your ship. We'd set up right near the main drill. Taking out the spacer leader should get the message across to the rest of them to buzz off. Once you've managed that, phone up here on the comms panel and I can walk you through finishing the research.
friend of mine bought this ship. Sidonia can have a depressing effect on some people. You've got the slate. Let me see. Reduce joint wear? Oh, increase lifting capacity? A dose of this stuff can make a miner way more efficient. This formula's got to be worth at least as much as whatever Percival owes. Okay, so here's what you do. Tell Octai and the Trade Authority you found a business proposal that will make miners more efficient, higher yield, synergy, you know, all that business crap. And that you'll trade it to him for clearing Percival's debt. You good at doing pitches and stuff like that? Aw, oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, and here, a copy of the formula for yourself, in case you ever want to try maximizing your own industrial output. Oh, use that if you can. Good luck. A reminder that bring your child to work day is not a See you around. Was there something else? Hmm. I'm never one to turn away an opportunity. But I'd be curious what you think you've uncovered in the Martian market that others have missed. Aqueous hematite. Iron and wastewater. Well, I'm not surprised no one has proposed something like this before. And exactly what does this new drug of yours do? Hmm. An interesting proposal, if your data pans out. But where's this hematite coming from? The active mines would be too expensive to retool. The deep mines could be an option, but they're full of spacers. Or so I've heard. Well now, that is intriguing. A completely untapped resource pool, and the sort of utility every mining firm in Sidonia would be clamoring to get their hands on. We could contract out all the actual lab work, bring on one of the hungrier mining concerns for materials, the licensing fees alone, and think what it would do for our image with the general populace, this mine. Reopened, thanks to the Martian Trade Authority. Very interesting indeed. And what do you want for the rights to this drug? This is a promising fine, certainly. I can see us granting a generous finder's fee in exchange for handing it over. Was that it? Dr. Walker's debt. Consider it cleared. Well, it would seem we have a deal then. Here, your finder's fee. We'll just be taking that slate before you have any second thoughts. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Captain. you now. Fine work. My end of the bargain then, I suppose. He's holed up in the old Red Devil's HQ. Place was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit, but we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. I was also going to warn you about spaces down there, but it sounds like you might have already tossed those dregs. Yeah, the passkey. I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you on their way down.
So you must be the one who got me out of the red with the trade authority. Can't say I don't appreciate it. And I doubt you came all this way just to do me a favor. Now you want to explain to me why you're going around harassing nefarious old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts? Adrian sent you. She's... Did... Did she look okay? A terramorph. She's fortunate to be alive at all. Hope you two had plenty of backup. So what's this she had you bring all the way down here after putting you in harm's way? Adrian said that, huh? If she made you come all the way for this... Let's get inside. I need to see these cells. Gonna ask you to not touch anything. Got some projects in the works down here. I wasn't expecting guests. Oh, and Lou mentioned how you took care of the dead. Can't say I'm thrilled the Trade Authority got their mitts on the research, but I guess that's the price you pay not to live in a cave the rest of your days. All queued up. Let's gaze into this abyss, shall we? All right, just get those cellular markers tagged. Wait. Where are the markers? This... this can't be right. This sample... it's... Londinian. I'll... I'll need to get this all in a slate. Adrian really gave you this sample? You're not lying to me? Because if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. Can't just humor an old man, huh? This sample, it's got all the indicators of the worst terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. And for good reason. The swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did, well, they look just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talzetti. This specimen, it grew there, faster than any Terramorph should. Which means, if we're about to start a new era in human Terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not gonna end well for humanity. So, you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You want to tell me what your plans are for it now? The circle, huh? <sighs> Could use a drink about now. Here, faster we take the lift to the surface. Not supposed to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going. Adrian. 
Percival. My God, look at you. You're an old man now. <laughs> You're no hassling yourself anymore, Major. Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. And Lou said we could use the back. Lou gave me the abridged version of what went down. Yeah, I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. Makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. That's... well, that's certainly not what I was expecting you'd have to go through. But thank you. I'm just glad you both came through intact. So, were you two able to get that work up together? Got it right here. That sample? It's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian? That's exactly what I was afraid of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news. That's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that workup. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's gonna take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the archives. The Armistice Archives? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? And the Freestar Collective? And House Varun somehow? Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. I didn't think the Cabinet would be willing to hear us out either. But I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti. With both of us. It can be a daunting experience. Which is why I wanted to make sure, before you agreed to anything, we gave you the whole truth. Percival and I, we're not just researchers. We were military scientists, ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons. Place I was hiding out. That was our unit's home base. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno warfare. A practice that's been banned ever since the armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. And the UC military cut us loose for what we'd done. Oh. Well... That, um... That means a lot. It's not something I'm exactly proud of. But it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying terramorphs on the battlefield. The project never got off the ground, but the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives, along with all the other information banned after the Colony War. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the Cabinet to help us access that data, It'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. And hopefully, how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. All right. I'm gonna go get this work up into the Cabinet's hands. I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Good luck. You two are gonna need it. <laughs> 